Brad Hughes, he's the um, National Secretary for First Union and represents the workers who have um, taken two hours out of their day today to strike and say we want better pay and oh, who can blame them? Uh, Rudd joins us now. G'day, Rudd. Kia ora. How, how was the day? Talk me through. How did it go? Uh, well, the day was a, an absolute um, raging success, um, you know, in terms of wanting to, uh, you know, get a message out there to the company. We uh, we had big uh, big action in, in Auckland outside the Ponsonby um, <coughs> Ponsonby uh, Woolworths, uh, and it got a tremendous amount of support from the uh, from the locals. Um, and we we had a, a brief uh, stroll down Ponsonby Road, um, and all in all, it was just an absolutely cracking day in terms of you know this is a message that we wanted to get out to the company. We we also kind of struck right across the country. Um, and in, in each of the major um, regions, we, we had good actions um, with people coming up uh, out of the stores and, and making their voices heard. How did the company um, cope with the absent um, with the absent workers today? So for, we were out, out for two hours. So were they able to stay open and staff? And- um, I think they had to shut down parts of their stores. Um, I haven't heard of any store completely having to be shut down. Um, but in many ways, that, that wasn't the point. The point was that, um, you know, we've been at the bargaining table for 13 days. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's a lot of time, to, you know, talking across the table and not getting heard. We've pulled a lot of our claims off the table. Um, and right now we're, we're at the base, the, you know, at the base of we want safe staffing and we want uh, a decent pay increase. Um, you know, we've talked about the living wage. Uh, it's twenty seven eighty. You know, companies like Kmart can pay it. Why can't Woolworths? I mean, these are the most profitable companies in the country, uh, and they, you know, they they they're crying poverty at the moment. Um, but you know, there has been a little dip in their profits. But you know, let's just look at what um, Woolworths did. They rebranded in the middle of a of a cost of living crisis. They co- the rebrand has cost them four hundred million dollars. Right, um, you know, and they they rebranded from uh, Countdown, which had previously been rebranded from Woolworths. So they've rebranded yeah. back to Woolworths. It's ill conceived, and it's you know, and you're right. I think um, cloth ears is what is what we're hearing. They, they, they got so much money they don't know what to do with it. So they go and add, get some more stickers and some paint and some signs, anything but give it to the workers. Look, I work for MediaWorks as well. I have a contract with MediaWorks, and I think they lost 100 million bucks last year. Even MediaWorks who are really tough on pay, they refuse to pay anyone under the living wage. So the minimum wage at MediaWorks starts at the living wage. Now, if a media company, which is, you know, all the media companies are struggling right now. They're the exact opposite of the supermarkets, the exact opposite. If we can do it, yeah. these buggers can do it, surely. Well, I mean, you know, I, I just don't think they've got much of a conscience. You know, they gouge the producers, they gouge the consumers, and now they're gouging their own workers. Um, it just seems to be the, the nature of these companies. Um, and, and, and quite frankly, our members have had enough. Now, the, the, the problem is that the stores are not safe as well. So we're looking at, at safer staffing. We've been told we can't get more staff because it's too expensive. They're basically putting, you know, profit before people. And that, you know, that, that seems to be, you know, their raison d'etre, if you like. You know, that's what they, that's what they do. I'll look at safety shortly, um, but when it comes down to basic pay rates, what, what are you asking? Well, what, what are people on? What are you asking for? How does well, it work? Because everyone's on a different pay, I would have thought. Yeah, they are on different pay rates, and they're they're well under the, the um, living wage at the moment when they start. Um, we are trying to. What we're saying is, everyone everyone on a base rate should get the living wage. You know, we did a we did a um, a survey, uh, a union survey of fifteen hundred people, and most of them came from Woolworths. It was just around supermarket workers, and seventy five percent of them said they couldn't meet the basic needs of their every everyday life. And that means that something's got to give out of food, rent, clothing, health, and putting gas in the car. And that, to me, yeah. means that they're not earning enough. Um, and all we're asking for is, is a wage that people can live on. You know, twenty seven eighty is it's not a huge amount. And these, pe- no. these companies have made money hand over fist for 10, 10 plus years. They've got a what do you know of their profits? You know, no what, what do you know of... What do you know? Are they, have you, so are, they you in, they are, are you yeah. allowed to see their books? Are you have you been? Because I remember last time I asked these guys yeah. for their numbers, yeah, and they, 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 they almost they, they almost yeah. killed me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have. They've been relatively upfront about that. They 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 lost ten million to the first quarter, um, but since then the 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 um, the half year rate is one hundred and eight million that they've made. So you know, I mean, it's not even you know they're not even 
really hurting. Um, they have dropped in the in the in what they in what their profits are, but it's not anywhere to the extent where they should be saying we're going to put the squeeze on workers in order to make our profits better. What would it cost the company to put everybody as a minimum base level on the living wage? I, I don't actually have that figure in front of me. I'm sorry, I'd be guessing. Um, but look. But you must know the figure. That's, that's, so that's, 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 that's your base. That's your base. That's your base. That's your base camp. That's your base point. That's your starting point, isn't it? Well, because um, what we're looking at is, is all the other rates going up as well. And you know, one of the things the company wants to do is they want to bring in a multi-skilling task, uh, multi-skilling rate, <clears throat> which we're not opposed to. But what, what we've got is a whole lot of. Um, People who've been there a long time who don't want to multi-skill. They don't want to get, a, you know, they, they're happy in their jobs. They've been there for, you know, 15, 20 years and they don't want to to have to go to multi-skilling because that means they have to go all over the store whenever anyone directs them rather than the work that they've had to do. Now, that's, you know, the company's saying that's going to be voluntary, but that's the only way to really get a decent wage increase. What, um, what does someone get paid who's been there 15 or 20 years? Um, currently, they're under the living wage. So, um, at the top, uh, this is off the top of my head. I don't have the figures in front of me, but um, it uh, depends on what role they're doing. Because you know, there's bakeries, there's meat areas, there's deli, and there's you know management and things like that. But in terms of of someone working on the floor, it's around about twenty six dollars an hour. After fifteen years. After 15 years, they can't even crack the living wage. I don't know how news. Now I've I've, I've right. been out of work and I've been back into work and I've been out of work and back into work. Now I know what um what 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 I know what I know what high pay is like. I know what low pay is like, and there's a bit, I know the gap in between it. Mm-hmm. And I don't reckon, especially in big cities, the major cities, that even on the living wage, that you can actually afford to live, um, or of any standard lifestyle. I don't believe that you can actually afford even yeah. the basics. I reckon at the end of the week, you are in deficit. How on earth a New Zealanders meant to go to work all week and to be in deficit at the end of every week with just a basic lifestyle? I, I reckon that, that, that tells me society is completely screwed. Okay, well, I don't know. I mean, you, you're probably of a similar age to me. When I can remember my, my dad worked. We had one income coming in and we, uh, you know, we bought a house, we fed four kids, never went without um, and had a car, right? You cannot do that on one wage in New Zealand. It's very rare you're able to do that, especially for working people. And that—that that is, I think you're right. I think that, I think the society is broken. I think things some things need to change. 